Uh, congratulate uh, Iowa State. Uh, they had a good game plan. Thought they played well. Uh, we we uh, played well at times. Didn't make enough plays. Bottom line, offensively and defensively, uh, to get the win, ha had our chances um, early on. Even though we gave up the 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 big play to start the game, um, got it back to ten to seven on a big uh, pass play from with Philip, and then had a chance. I mean, we uh, got a shot in the end zone and and uh, don't get that. And then uh, they review the one play. If not, we've got a chance to go up 14 to 10 and, and then we don't get any points out of that. And I thought that was critical uh, to not get points out of that, to at least tie it up, if not take the lead. And then, uh, you know, go down 20 to seven at half. I still thought we had an opportunity and, um, you know, come out the second half and, and um, make a big throw on first down. And then we just don't make the play on third down. And uh, um, that, had a chance to be a pretty good play. And so um, it's frustrating because um, we're we're close, but we have to be able to make plays. And uh, both sides of the ball, offense, defense, a little bit of special teams as well. We've got to be able to make some of those critical plays. And, and, and we're obviously, we're capable. We've seen it early on in the season. And the last three weeks, even though we've played really, really good football teams, uh, we haven't made the play. So um, we're positive with the guys. We, we've got a challenge to go on the road now and uh, try to regroup. I love the character and leadership in that locker room. And and uh, we just got to fight back and try to go one on next week. What do you really went into the slow start today? Uh, I, I have no idea. I mean, we just missed a fit and two guys ran into each other and popped a big play. And that isn't a slow start. It's a it's a mental error. We can't make the critical errors. Uh, and give a kid of that ability the space to make a big run. You worry about just the psyche of three straight losses with the team? and, nah, and not on. at all. That's, a, that's three straight games where uh, the opposing quarterback has put up some pretty good numbers against you guys. What's it going to take moving forward to just play better defense? Well, the, the, the three pretty good quarterbacks, too. Uh, and um, we just got to make some plays in man coverage. We've got to be able to get off and, and, and rush the passer so we can – get people in his face and um you know it's it's a little difficult when we don't have probably our best couple pass rushers out there uh but bottom line that that's the hand we're dealt we've got to we've got to go back to the drawing board and find some ways to rush the passer and we got to be able to play a little bit better man coverage they run a lot of crossing patterns and have heavy tight end involvement how do you counteract that? Yeah, the tight ends are really good players, and, and they can box body up. And, and we've got smaller DBs, and that's uh, kind of where we're at. And, and they were able to bo box us out a few times. And then we just did some poor things with some levels of, of coverage where they know it's man, and, and we get picked. And, and um, you're not going to call the picks because it just doesn't get called in college football, and that's not the issue. It's us avoiding them by playing with better levels so that we can get over the top of those uh, pick routes. And we didn't do a good enough job of that. So what exactly happened on that first play? Uh, two guys were in the same gap and uh, Brees spit it out. And then the, the guy that uh, could have been our extra player took a bad angle. Did Coach, you feel like you had guys in the right positions defensively for most of the night? Or? Yeah, for the most part, I thought we, we did some good things. We'd give up the 75-yarder, the and then you, you got to keep the cup on this guy, and, and he's patient. And, um, you know, we lose the cup, meaning lose the edge of the defense because they can't see him, and they peek their head inside, and he bounces out for a 40-yard run. Those are the things that we worked on all week, uh, that um, uh, to know your gap integrity and, and keep that and keep him in, in, the, in the cup, and, and we didn't do – uh, you know, he got out on a, on a few occasions there that uh, can't happen. And we have, we have the right design of it, but we still got to execute better. Coach Tyrone Hill, got, Tyrone Howe got pretty involved today um, in the passing game. Was that kind of something that you guys were um, planning for? Well, he's improving. He played on some special teams and had a good open week. And like we talked about earlier in the week, he's a new player. And uh, it's just took him, taking him some time to, you know, kind of get – acclimated to the offense and I think he's got a chance to be pretty good can you speak to just the the depth and how dangerous big 12 quarterbacks are this year you know there are a lot of seasoned guys that um, make a lot of plays and and that's you know there's there's some really good offenses in this league and there's there's a few really good defenses but uh, you know right now people have trigger guys they have some quarterbacks that can beat you with their arm beat you with their feet and the schemes are really good and 
Uh, there's there's a big talent level right now on offense, and and uh, we've got to find some ways to to control that, you know. And um, I still think it, you know, we just still make a couple more plays both sides of the ball. It's a one score game, and we have an opportunity. Instead, it's we always had it as, as a two score game. That, uh, ten ten minute two second drive just just seems like it was it was deflating. Um, Absolutely, we got to be able to get off the field on third down. We didn't do it. Do you feel like that uh, it was a pivotal moment in that first half that really turned the ball game around after the incompletion in the end zone there and the missed field goal down 10-7? Yeah, yeah, we, we talked about that just a few minutes ago. We needed to get points there. I uh, thought we could get seven and needed to at least get three to tie it up, and, and instead uh, it goes the other way, and we're down 17-7. Can you tell us about your decision to go for the field goal in that situation versus – well, it was fourth and four, uh, and um, we just felt like we wanted to get points out of it. We wanted to tie the game. You know, we thought we had a chance, and when they reviewed it, and, and then we ran the ball and got a decent amount back, um, we felt like we wanted to tie the game. Unfortunately, we didn't. And Skyler noticed he ran some option today, quite a bit different than what he did last week. Was that the design going in, or had it been on? Yeah, just based on a couple of looks. Uh, probably wouldn't have wanted him to run it uh, probably late in the game. Uh, down a few scores, but uh, the look was there. And so he did it and, and he's got a lot of confidence. And uh, I think it, it'll probably help him settle him down even more being able to, because he did scramble and run a few times. And uh, that tells me he's getting stronger, getting healthier. Coach, I know you did say you need to get off the field on third down. They were nine of 15 on third down conversions in the game. What do you, what do you need to do moving forward to, to try to better that and, and get off the everything field? cover better? rush the passer better, um, get in third and extra and not third and five where the tight ends can body up and do a good job. Chris, you got the stop. I think it was third and 11. You had 12 guys on the yeah. field. Is that a communication error? Yeah, it was a huge communication error. Really frustrating. Cannot happen, and it did. Chris, I guess, did you feel at any point tonight, given how much they were dominating some of the time of possession, did you think the defense ever got tired? Um, you know, no, I don't simply because they had 60 plays and there's so many TV timeouts and we rotate enough guys in, um, that that's not a reason for us not playing better. We need to play better and, um, have to continue to, to work on getting off blocks, tackling and, and being better in man coverage today, man, we played more man today, uh, because we thought we had to play more man, uh, and, we just, they bodied us up. Those are good tight ends or six foot seven. And, and once again, we're five, nine in the secondary and they bodied us up and did a really good job or they motioned a guy across and ran some, some rub or pick routes and, and were able to get some completions. Coach, you did the onside kick there after you scored the touchdown. Was there ever any thought of maybe just trying to kick it deep or anything like that? No, we needed another possession back. You, you know, when you're at five minutes left, you're down to maybe one, maybe two possessions. And I think we should have had it. We had, a, we had an opportunity um, and we turned, we'd used so many onside kicks a week before we came up with a new plan and it worked because um, the ball was squirting around out there and we got to find a way to get that. No one was perfect today, but I thought um, the wide receivers, they spread around, got spread around a little bit. Saw some Tyrone Howell. Does that give you any confidence going forward? The depth yeah. there. We've got good. We've got good talent at wide receiver and uh, good talent at quarterback, and um, we just got to um, connect and and make sure we're on the same page. And that's you know, we talked about it all week. We have to have all eleven guys on the same page, and and we have a couple of times, whether it's offense, defense, or special teams, where maybe one guy's off a little bit with an assignment or or a technique. Well, against a defense like that, they're not going to give you very many explosive plays, and um, so you got to be patient. Really, against that against that defense, that's a that's one of the best defenses. It's the best defense in the league right now, uh, and, and so you know we've just got to be patient. And then when you have the opportunities to make plays, you got to be able to make plays. Okay, thanks, guys.